With that potential snow on the way, local cities and towns are ponying up. In recent years, it's been a struggle for some to find enough plow truck drivers. But as 12 News reporter Kayla Fish found out, this year they weren't taking any chances. Kayla? Preparations for any potential snowfall have been underway for weeks now. And from the state to the local level, those we spoke with say they're ready for whatever Mother Nature throws their way. That's what we're here for. In Cranston, Highway Manager John Corso says all eyes are on the weekend. Their fleet of plow trucks and drivers awaiting the first potential snowfall of the season. We'll be uh, installing the plows on all the little trucks tomorrow. The big trucks are all ready to go. The mechanics went through them all, so they're ready. Over the past few years, Corso says it's been difficult to hire enough plow drivers. But by offering more money, he says they were able to attract more staff. It's a very expensive business to be in. It's a lot of money to put out and set up a truck, and then you got to hope it snows, you know, to make the money, you know, to run your business. So it gets harder and harder, and... Uh, they're hard to come by, so every all the cities, towns, and states, they're all fighting for plow trucks. In Woonsocket, for example, it's the same story. Public Works Director Steve D'Agostino tells me he's been proactive about securing drivers by offering higher pay. At the state level, a spokesperson for the Department of Transportation says in total, between state trucks and private vendors, they have more than 420 trucks ready to hit the road. And while those we spoke with say they're prepared for whatever happens this weekend, you can never have enough drivers. Still looking for more. The more you have, well, the better prepared we would be. But we're, we're at this point, we're just fine. And of course, this potential storm is still days away. The people we spoke with say they'll plan to meet later this week to go over their plan again as we inch closer to the weekend. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.